I'm a Christian medical humanities student, and the reason I chose that was because I was taught that if I have the opportunity to help my fellow man, I should, you know, as a Christian should. So, um, as a Christian, how can some conservative people justify not backing health care for people, um, especially like for veterans, because they do a lot for our country, and sadly, they end up homeless and don't get the help they can get from the VA. So how can we justify not providing affordable health care for everybody? It's a great question. Well, first, um, I don't know any conservative that doesn't want health care for veterans. So I'll just challenge you a little bit on that. But let's, let's, let's take the premise. Let's say that I don't want universal health care, right? We don't want universal health care because it will actually hurt the very same people you care about. And so let's talk about the veteran example, right? So the VA is a disaster. It's a mess. The VA receives $100 billion a year. There's waiting lines. The quality of care is dreadful. And I will say, we have universal health care for veterans. And it is a disaster. So the question is, how do we best help people, right? And so you or somebody, I don't even know if you believe what you said, you're just asking the question, so I don't want to put that on you. But that sort of opinion would say, hey, the best way to help people, government assistance, government health care. Now, I believe in a safety net, of course. I don't want the safety net to become a hammock. I don't want it to become a place of comfortability. But I believe the best way to help people when it comes to health care is, number one, where's my friend who's the nutritionist? First of all, there you go. We eat like garbage in this country, okay? We've got to fix the way we eat. We have a sick care system, not a health care system. That's number one. Number two, we are run by the tyranny of the hospitals, a private-public partnership of inside-out access of hospitals that have perverse profit incentives and taking money from the taxpayers. But I will say this. You will not find conservatives not care. And this is an important thing. Just because we don't want something doesn't mean we don't care. It's a very important thing. And so I would just challenge on one thing, which is this, which is, which is that you might think conservatives are wrong, or maybe people that say that what it is, but don't think they're bad, right? Don't think like, how could you not want to give health care? When in reality, it's like, hey, we want to have all people taken care of. The best way to take care of people might be through market competition, might be through choice, through improving the health care system, not through a massive bureaucratic, you know, kind of social engineering uh, project. Do you have a quick follow-up question? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I do agree with you when you say that we shouldn't enable people um, because I think that, you know, it is good to have a safety net, but we also need to grow and improve ourselves with our own will. Um, but I have met people, and it might just be, like, people claiming to be conservative but not really believing in the conservative, like, help your neighbor values yeah. that like truly don't want to give to health care because like if i have the money or th this is like their words if i have the money why am i going to give it to somebody else well, yeah i mean you won't hear me say that but i will say this let's differentiate one thing which is government helping people and people helping people the other thing the other reason i'm against a massive government welfare project is i think it de-incentivizes you from helping another person that needs help and we see this in europe Americans gave $600 billion away to charity last year. We have the highest rates of charitable giving in the planet except one small island country, one in the Pacific. So we're like number two in the rates, not just the number. Europe, private charity is almost an unknown idea. When I was in Europe, I've been there many times, I explained what Turning Point USA was and kind of how we raise money. And I also explained how we have charitable hospitals, how people give money voluntarily, Red Cross, Salvation Army. And I remember a group of Germans looking at me, they say, what do you mean you give money to charity? You see, it's almost an unknown exercise. They're like, no, the government does that. It's the exercise of the state. I think that the larger we've made the government, the more we've given people an excuse not to step up and help people that truly need help. I think we need to empower more neighbors helping neighbors. Thank you so much for your question and for being here. Thank you.